This is the award-winning Ernest Angley Hour, proclaiming the gospel of Jesus Christ to all nations. I believe in miracles because I believe in God. As you watch today's program, reach out in faith and allow the Lord to minister to your personal needs. You can have a miracle. And here is God's man for this hour, Reverend Ernest Angley. Greetings in the name of the Lord and welcome to the Ernest Angley Hour. I'm the Reverend Chris Mockamer. I'm an associate pastor at Ernest Angley's Grace Cathedral. Now I'll be your guest host for the program today. Friend, we have much in store for you that will bless your soul. And it starts with good gospel music and singing. A powerful message by the Reverend Ernest Angley continued from last week. And you will watch the power of God in action as Reverend Angley ministers to people in the healing line. But first, to start things off, it's the Cathedral Boys. They have a great number. March all over heaven. <laughs> See my brand new home. March with all the angels. Shall sing with heaven's band. I'm gonna march with all my loved ones. I'm gonna march on heaven's land. See my brand new home. March with all the angels. Shall sing with heaven's band. I'm gonna march with all my loved ones. I'm gonna march on heaven's land. March on over the march all over. I'm gonna march around God's march around. March through the gate of glory. I'm gonna see my brand new home. March with all the angels. Shall sing with heaven.
lift you up today. That's a great number by the Love Road Trio. Now taking you into Ernest Angeley's Grace Cathedral for the sermon continued from last time and the title is Where There Is Faith, There Is a Miracle. Matthew chapter 9 verse 29 Then touched he their eyes saying according to your faith be it unto you according to your faith, be it unto you. Oh, was for the blind man, something. He touched eyes that were blind and they received sight. You've seen it here on this platform again and again, the blind receiving sight. Matthew Chapter 15, 28, verse, verse 28, 8. Then Jesus answered, said her, O woman, great is thy faith, be it unto thee, even as thou will. Her daughter was made whole from that very hour. And this was the woman that came. She was not a household of faith, a zero physician woman. Her daughter was vexed with devils. She probably had to chain her to the bed, couldn't even take her out of the house, but she went to find Jesus. And Jesus told her that healing was the children's bread and that she was not the household of faith. She said, but oh, master, even the dogs eat the crumbs that fall from the table. And he told her that her daughter was delivered. When she got home, her daughter was all right. You see, if the devil possessed, delivered something the way that they're delivered in this ministry. We've had all kinds of ex experience the way those devils come out of people now they just come out in big wads if you people could see them some of you would be jumping up and taking out they're going out that aisle closest to you fast but you needn't be afraid the Lord told me that if people in the audience and I'd be casting out devils. If they would honor him, they would be protected. And I could take full responsibility. But if they dishonored him, they, those devils would go into them. We've had that to happen too. That's bad. Doesn't pay to dishonor God. The Lord said in Matthew, the 17th chapter, verse 20, if you have faith as a grain of mustard seed, you shall say unto this mountain, remove thou to yonder place, and it shall remove and nothing shall be impossible unto you. Now he was not talking about mountains of dirt. No. He was talking about mountains of despair, and sicknesses, diseases, afflictions, and so forth. The disciples and the mother of Jesus were at a wedding, which they ran out of wine. Now, you can study up on this. That was not fermented. The Lord wouldn't give somebody something that made them drunk. And it was his first miracle. But there was faith there and the miracle took place. John chapter 2, 
verse 1 through 5. The third day there was a marriage, Cain of Galilee. I've been there a number of times. And they show that place off with great pride. And the mother of Jesus was there. And both Jesus was called and his disciples to the marriage. And when they wanted wine, the mother of Jesus saith unto him, they have no wine. Jesus said there, woman, what have I to do with thee? Mine hour is not yet come. But she knew it was going to come. His mother, through faith, saith unto the servants, Whatsoever he saith unto you, do it. That is one of the greatest statements that you will find about Jesus. Somebody saying about Jesus Christ, Whatsoever he saith unto you, do it. All you have to do is do it. He told him, fill up the water pots to the brim with water. Water pots were there empty. They went forth and filled them up. They came back and all he said to them, go serve it. Took a lot of faith to go and pour out water. They could have been in big trouble But we fill up our water pots by faith. And when we f are full of faith, miracles happen right before us. We can't see with the human eye the ingredients that God uses to perform his miracles. But where there is faith, there is a miracle. And the miracle was that the governor of the feast said it was the best wine yet. It was fervent. I've had the study of it. You go back and search it, you'll find out they were serving fresh from the vine in that wedding. No drunks. No, but whatever he say, ever he says unto you, you do it, and that's what I adopted. Whatever he tells me to do, I do it. Whatever. He'll let me know whether to hold on to somebody or let them go. He let me know if a person cannot be reached with salvation, that they have sinned against the Holy Ghost. And Jesus said there's no forgiveness in this life and not in the next life. They're doomed. Doomed. It, uh, faith comes from the word of God and when you whatsoever he, the word says do that's the secret of receiving from the Lord total obedience God always honors total obedience not partial but total obedience and I never serve him less never no, never. Matthew chapter 4, verse 4. But he answered and said, It is written, Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of God. You see why I have to be alone with God so much, spending all kinds of hours. I starve for the word. I get hungry for the word just like you get hungry for food. 
and I know I've got to get along, along with God. God wants to tell me something. He taught me how to be in his presence for hours at a time and to keep my voice. Keep it for the years. And I thank God. I glorify him. And he'll deal with me doesn't matter how many hours. The time just flies. And then when he sees that my mind's getting real tired, he'll let me go to sleep. And I have the sixth sense or gear. I can go to sleep and sleep five minutes. I can get up and go again. Most people can't do that. But I have that from heaven. The word brings health. To your flesh, you'll find this in the 107th Psalm 21st. He sent his word and healed them and delivered them from their destructions. He sent his word. He sent Jesus. The Word was made flesh, dwelt among men. The Bible teaches the laying on of hands as a point of contact to be heard. Mark 16th chapter, 18th verse. They shall lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. And it's something how the Lord has chosen put so much stress on our hands. But the hands are connected with the heart. The heart is pure, clean the hands are. And the Lord can use our hands as he uses his own hands. But if you have enough faith in the spoken word, you can be healed without hands being laid on you. And I speak to some people just like that and they're healed. That power shoots into them like a bullet. It goes so fast that so many times the person is slain in the spirit. Matthew, the eighth chapter, verses seven through 10. And Jesus said to him, I will come and heal him. The centurion had come and he had a servant that had the palsy. Um, he must have been a valuable one. I'm sure he was. And he humbled himself to come to Jesus. And, but he, won't, he would have told Jesus, I'm not worthy for you to come into my house. In other words, I'm not living right. The centurion answered, said, Lord, I'm not worthy that thou shouldest come under my roof. What humility, but speak the word only and my servant shall be healed. Now you think about that, the kind of faith he had that all the Lord had to do was just speak. I have that kind of faith. All the Lord has to do is just speak. But so many people know they don't believe that for them. For I am a man under authority, having soldiers under me. I say to the man, go. He goeth. To another come, and he cometh. To my servant, do this, and he doeth it. When Jesus heard it, he marveled and said to them that followed, Verily I say unto you, I have not found so great faith, no, none is Israel. The kind of faith even me. Jesus, he marveled at it. He didn't expect it for that centurion to come like he did. Where there is faith in Jesus' name, there is a miracle. 
there is a miracle. By stretching forth thine hand to heal. Now this is Acts, the fourth chapter, verse 30. And that signs and wonders may be done by the name of thy holy child, Jesus. Acts 4.10. Be it known unto you all and to all the people of Israel that by the name of Jesus Christ, Nazareth, whom you crucified, whom God raised up from the dead, even by him that this man stand here before you home. Yes, that miracle, the man at the gate, beautiful, over 40 years of age, had never walked. And Peter, John going up to the temple to pray, they didn't have any money. And but they stopped. Peter said to the man, silver and gold have a none, but such as I have, give I thee in the name of Jesus. Stand to your feet and walk. He didn't only stand up and walk. He was leaping and jumping and dancing before them, going into the house of God. And through that one miracle, 5,000 men were converted. See what miracles will do. That's the reason we have so many miracles in our overseas crusades. One place, and God will number them to me. 12,000 miracles, healings in one service. There were thousands of people there. And God was really pouring out his power. People were weeping all over that place. Men weeping tears just flowing down their cheeks, crying out to God. The miracles are his. They're not of us. They're divine miracles. Divine healings performed through faith in his wonderful name. Where there is faith, there are miracles. But it has to be divine faith. And these so many churches are dead, dead, dead. Even Pentecostal churches are dead. They're not having miracles. They're not having healings. Some of them used to. I believe in God, and believing in God means believing in His works. In His miracles, the miracles are His. We who see them are witnesses to declare the hand of God is moving on planet earth today and the Lord is still performing miracles. There he is wonderful works and where he finds divine faith, there will always be miracles. In the early reign, they had miracles. They had divine faith. In the latter reign, the Lord said it would be greater. And indeed it is. The way God's filling people with the Holy Ghost through this Jesus World Outreach Ministry. Used to, I thought, I never dreamed that there'd be a, about 120 get the Holy Ghost in one of my services. I never dreamed that. And I've seen it happen more times than one. Be way beyond that number. Receive the real Holy Ghost, the real thing. Something to behold. But when they see the miracles, they release their faith and receive the Holy Ghost. Isn't that wonderful? 
That's mighty, people. That's mighty. Ernest Angley World Radio is a powerful internet radio that streams God's love and greatness 24 hours a day, seven days a week. You don't need a traditional radio, just your laptop, tablet, or smartphone. And you can download our free apps from our website at ernestangley.org. When troubles push in on you, then tune into sermons. I accuse Christianity for having ministers that will deny what God has promised us. Songs. I'm going to join the angels band. I'll sing with the angels in glory band. And personal testimonies that build faith and joy. They were drugs of mental addiction, physical addiction. Instantly, Reverend Angley, I was delivered from those devils that bound my life. Praise the Lord, that's good. Also, go to ernestangley.org and visit the worship center and see life-changing miracles. Come on! <laughs> Receive personal prayer from Reverend Angley. There's the healing hands like no other hands. And sign up as an online ministry partner and receive free downloads. Dip your cup in God's river of love and never be the same. Oh, friend, I encourage you to tell family and friends about this World Radio app. Think of it, listening to great gospel music and singing, powerful preaching, wonderful testimonies 24-7. It's all right there for you. And don't forget, do be in prayer for the mighty miracle crusade Reverend Angley is conducting in South Africa. Oh, what a time in the Lord it is. People are coming to the Lord, being delivered, saved, healed, and filled with the good Holy Ghost. And friend, you can be a part of it. You may not be able to be there in person to minister to people, but when you sponsor these mighty Miracle Crusade services, it's the same as if you were ministering one-on-one -on -one to the people. These crusades, they cost many, many thousands of dollars, but it's so worth it for all the souls that come into the kingdom. Do give whatever the Lord lays upon your heart. But remember, if you give $100 or more, we will send you a DVD of all the highlights of the crusade services and what a keepsake that will be, a testimony to what your sacrificing did for people in Africa. Our mailing address is Ernest Angley Ministries, P.O. Box 1790, Akron, Ohio, 44309. Our mailing address in Canada is Ernest Angley Ministries, Box 970, Station U, Toronto, Ontario, M8Z5P9. And you can also contact us and donate through our website, ErnestAngley.org, or you can always call our 24-hour prayer line. And all that you give wins souls for the Lord. And don't forget, you that sponsor each month, you get a new Book of the Month. And the February Book of the Month is What It Means to Blaspheme Against the Holy Ghost, a powerful, sobering message by the Reverend Ernest Angley. So when you send in your February support, be sure to request Gift offer P328. And now we have for you some more good gospel music and singing coming up. And then a little later on, it will be time for the healing line as you watch God's power in action. But first, it's the singing gospels and they have a great number for you, Divine Blood. Listen. sold into bondage at a very early age and sin it was my captor and its bondage was my cage the enemy laid traps for me to help me lose my way but i thank god for jesus and the debt i can't repay he brought divine blood to free my life from sin he brought divine blood my new life to be Divine blood will make you whole. We're purchased. 
purchased with a precious price that money just can't buy. The very Son of God did die for souls like you and I. He did it all with sinless blood, that is why I say, I thank God for Jesus and the dead I can't repay. He brought divine blood to free my life from sin. He brought divine blood, my new life to begin. It takes divine blood to free my sinful soul. And if you will accept it, divine blood will make you whole. The blood came from the Father, He used it in His plan to take the very life of God and sacrifice for man. He brought divine blood to free my life from sin. He brought divine blood, my new life to begin. It takes divine blood to free my sinful soul. And if you will accept it, divine blood will make you whole. And if you will accept it, divine blood will make you whole. Divine blood, divine blood, divine blood. Go, glory, I'm gonna sing before God's throne with the angels on that day. No more balance, I'm leaving my troubles behind Hallelujah. Oh, what a glorious day when I arrive When I arrive Angels will be singing, welcome home When I arrive There'll be joy and laughter that I've never known When I arrive You'll find me singing before God's throne Oh, what a glorious day when I This old world it seems to get so rough Then I think about my mansion where I'll be living Down here no more to roam, I'm going home Oh, glory, I'm gonna sing before God's throne With the angels on that day Oh, glory, I'll be shouting hallelujah glory As I praise His holy name There'll be no more tears no more balance, I'm leaving my troubles behind. Hallelujah. Oh, what a glorious day when I arrive. When I arrive, angels will be singing, welcome home. When I arrive, when I arrive there'll be joy and laughter that I've never known. When I arrive, you'll find me singing before God's throne. Oh, what a glorious day when I If I could even take any more But then I see the signs of his soon coming And I know that soon I will arrive on heaven's shores Oh, glory, I'm gonna sing before God's throne With the angels on that day Oh, glory, I'll be shouting hallelujah glory As I praise his holy name There'll be no more tears no more balance, I'm leaving my troubles behind. Hallelujah. Oh, what a glorious day when I Put on a little longer. Even we'll be singing. Angels will be singing. Child, welcome home. When I arrive. When I arrive. There'll be joy and laughter. When I arrive. When I arrive. When I arrive you'll find me singing. Oh, what a glorious day when I
When you're down in the valley and those storm clouds arise, oh, keep your eyes upon Jesus. Oh, no. The Lord will get me out of here. You gotta hold on to God's unchanging hand. You gotta hold on on the solid rock stand. You gotta hold on to the power in the blood. You gotta hold on just like Jesus would. When the enemy comes against you Like he did old brother Joe oh, Just remember no. Jesus promised He would take your heavy load oh, He no. said my yoke is easy And my burden is light oh, And no. just like Joe All heaven knows you, you can't, can't win without, without a fight You gotta hold on to God's unchanging hand You gotta hold on On the solid rock stand You gotta hold on the power in the blood you got to hold on just like Jesus would yes my God is able there's nothing he won't do trust his mighty power and watch him part the sea for you climb up a little higher don't you know that's how you win and praise his name Shout hallelujah, amen. You gotta hold on to the promises he made. You gotta hold on to the foundation laid. You gotta hold on to the power in the word. You gotta hold on to everything you've heard. You gotta hold on to God's unchanging hand. You gotta hold on. The solid rock stand. You gotta hold on to the power in the blood. You got to hold on just like Jesus would. Just like Jesus would. Just like Jesus would. Hold on, you better hold on. Friend, what a great message in that song. And it's true, you've got to hold on to God until he moves for you. Now, taking you back into Ernest Angeles Grace Cathedral, and it is time for the healing line. Friend, watch the power of God in action, bringing deliverance to people. I sanctify the Lord God. I declare that the miracles, the healings are yours. I am your witness. I never take any of your glory. All of these over 77 years being your minister, Lord, I've never taken any of your glory. Not one tiny speck. I always turn it over to you. I'm your witness. Hello. Hi. Uh, I want a prayer for my back. When I'm working around the house, it hurts really bad if I'm mopping or something or working in the garden. You have arthritis of the spine, saith the Lord. Yeah, my knees too. Take the perfect miracle. Take the perfect miracle. Pick up one foot, put it down. Pick up the other and put it down. And now your spine Bend forward and see what God has done. I don't feel no pain. Well, no. You got a miracle. Thank the Lord. Praise <laughs> God. <laughs> that Thank surprised you, God. didn't it? A little bit. A little Thank bit you. of hope. In. <laughs> Amen. Thank you. God's healing people tonight. There's faith around here. Faith around here. There's faith here. Where are you folks from? We're from Batavia, New York. From New York? Yeah. Okay. We're glad you're here. Glad to be here. I waited. I couldn't wait to get here. <laughs> Good. 
What do you need? I was here last time, and both of us were here, and I mentioned my intestines had a problem, and I felt the power of God, and I have a lot more energy than I had, but I've got a doctor's appointment and later in September, and I want a good report. Yeah. I just want, I just want just and to you be can there. have it. Yeah. Faith in God heals and you the gave sick. And you gave me the book, and I read it. It was really good because all the scriptures are there, and I, I, I gave you it. a book. Yes, you did on healing. I read it, on and healing. I know you can get false symptoms. Yeah, I might have fallen. And you're for some saved. Of that. Yes. And you're living. For, did you ever get the Holy Ghost? Yes, I did. And you did ask me that there was an issue in our church about. I don't want to run down a church or anything, but whether there was speaking in tongues at will. Yeah, and that's and, awful. And. That's you know, not of God. when I went home, I thought, what if I did? You know, I'm think, I've been there a long time now. I've been there a long time, and I'm thinking. With them. Yeah, and I don't know whether I'm guilty or, and I don't want to be guilty because I don't want to do that. No. I, I denounced it a long time ago. I just. You're good. I'm glad you I, did. I don't believe in that. I wasn't no. raised like that. I know and that's that. of the devil and the I flesh. That. I believe that. Yeah, but you're not with that anymore. No. You I'm got not. away from it. Got away from That's there. good. <laughs> yay, yay, yay. Woo! Glory to God. Healer all over, Lord. All over. The vision is good. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Amen. The cross is formed in a wonderful way, in a big way in your life. Amen. That tells you something. Yeah, it does. You think about that cross appearing. Okay. That means you're well in the Lord. Thank you. Thank you very much. That's wonderful. Thank you. And what do you need? High blood pressure. Do you have the Holy Ghost? Yes. And you've been in that stuff at one time too. Huh? Yeah, she's my wife. Longer than I have. I've been, I've been going there for 28 years and we decided uh, to leave. You don't go there anymore, do you? Nope. Never. Good. Okay, what's wrong? High blood pressure. Loose him, yay. Command your blood to come to normal. I believe it's being regulated right now. Right now. Right now. You believe that, don't you? Yes, I do. Yeah. Whoo. Amen. Amen. You got it. Amen. <laughs> this place is addicted. I, if I could, I'd be here every chance I got. <laughs> Where are you from? I'm from Canada. Yeah, You're Canada. from Canada. And what do you need? Uh, I have a carpal tunnel syndrome, and I have a tendinitis, and I have to wear the brace at nighttime, so because it's really like painful, I'm, and I'm supposed to have a surgery by the. Are you saved? I'm saved and I'm baptized with the Holy Spirit, in the Holy Spirit. With the evidence of speaking of the tongue. Put your hands in mine. One's worse than the other, isn't it? Yes. You have to have a miracle of recreative power. Recreative power. Recreative power. You're getting the miracle. The Lord's recreating for you. The Lord is recreating. Praise the Lord, people. Thank you, Jesus. Praise the Hallelujah. Lord. Praise the Lord. Can you can feel it, can't you? Yeah, it's real. It's real. Thank you, Jesus. It's so wonderful when the Lord does it. Thank you. Amen. Thank you. Amen. It's wonderful. God bless you. Hello, hello. And Mama, you want your miracle right yes, now? Yes, sir, I do. And God's really giving people miracles tonight, one after another. You people, all of you need a miracle, don't you? Yeah. I'm losing my eyesight. I have a dislocated jaw. You I what? Losing my eyesight. I have a dislocated jaw. That's causing pressure on the side of my head. I have. Looser. Looser. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord, everybody. God is in this place. You need a miracle all over, don't you? 
Looser. And I command those demons of the body to be cast into hell if they don't leave at once. Right now. Right now. Lord, and put life in her body. She has life in her soul. Put it in her body. Put it in her body. What is it, Dad? Uh, my uh, eyesight is deteriorating, and so is my mind. Yay! He's doing it. He's doing it. He's doing it. He is doing it. Praise God. He's doing it for you. He's doing it for you. He's doing it for you, brother. That's the power of God. That's the power of God coming upon you. That's the power of God coming upon you. That's the power of God coming upon him. Praise the Lord. He's getting a miracle. He needed so much. He's getting a miracle. He's getting a miracle. Praise ye the Lord. Praise ye the Lord. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Well, you got it. <laughs> Thank you. I got it. Yeah, I got you, it. you got yeah. it. I'm That's wonderful. Already. Praise the Lord. Amen. I'm, I'm glad. Glad you people got to come tonight. I am glad to. Wonderful. <laughs> Amen. Hello, where are you from? Cargo Falls. Where? Cargo Falls, here. Oh, you're in the falls. Yes. What's wrong? I need the Holy Ghost. Huh? I need the Holy Ghost. Oh, you need the Holy Ghost? Whoo, I call the power upon you. That's the anointing. The Lord said you'd receive power, and after that, the Holy Ghost has come. Now, you'll come to the altar tonight. Yes. No, you're going to get the Holy Ghost, okay? Yes. The Word is glory. That says it all. Glory, glory, glory. Amen. And that anointing will be yours, and the Lord will take you through. Hello, hello. Hi, she Where lost her hearing from West Virginia. West Virginia. She lost her hearing about five or six years she ago. She lost on one. this side. Her left ear. Her left ear, her left she, left she ear. doesn't hear out. She don't hear out of it. And this one's starting to go. That one's starting. Well, it doesn't matter. God'll recreate both eardrums. And this eardrum is gone. Eardrum is gone. Recreate the eardrum. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I knew you would do it. Thou foul dear spirit, you have to go. Come out. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I can hear. I can hear. I know you can. <laughs> <laughs> You got good hearing now. Yep. Two new eardrums. Aren't you blessed? Yes. And Jesus did that for you. Yes. And you're a beautiful girl. Thank you. You know you're pretty though, didn't you? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Girls really usually know. That's right. And what she's, does she's gonna have um, her G tube took it out in a few weeks and we like pray for her. She's got a G tube, tube. like a feeding tube. And she's going to have it removed. She had six open heart surgeries, yeah. and she was paralyzed on her left side all the way down. But 2008, and God brought her through. Through this ministry. Yay! Lord, take care of her. Give her the perfect miracle now, Lord. Give her the rest of it. You gave her good hearing. You recreated that was gone to waste. And you'll do the rest of it. And what does mother need? Grandma. Uh, I'm, only, um, I'm having problems with, with my neck, and sometimes back here it gets numb, back here. You have a, a growth on the brain. It's about the size of a nickel, but it'll, it's growing. But now, the Lord will take it out. I command it to melt. Yay! Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. And Lord, give her all. Give her all. Give her the perfect miracle for everything. For everything. For everything. Give her good circulation. 
take all the arthritis out of her body. Do you need anything? Yes, I went to the doctor and they can't find anything. This just keep having problems right here. Well, they say in your what? The doctor says they can't find anything, but it's it's just problems there. It's just but it's swollen, isn't it? Yes. This is a strange allergy. It's the first time I remember ever coming in contact with it. It's a good thing you came. The miracle power hit it while I was talking. It lit up, lit up in through here. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. He's getting the unbelievable with beach to a lot of doctors and nurses, but it's real, it's real, it's real. You're telling the difference already, aren't yes, you? Yes, I am. You got it. Reverend, I've been having burning here in the back of my shoulder. Loose him. Give him the perfect miracle for everything now, Lord. The perfect miracle. The perfect miracle for everything. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. I believe you're going to be okay. Amen. The whole family. You have the Holy Ghost? Yes. Good. I'm a pastor. Oh, I thought you looked like a preacher. Yeah. A wholeness preacher, huh? Pentecostal, yes. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Preaching the holiness. Yes. Preaching the truth. That's good. Yes. We're glad to have you. We need to get anointings to take back to the church. Okay. Yes. Lord, I anoint this family to take it back to their church. Amen. Amen. The truth. The truth and nothing but truth. Amen. Amen. And amen. And amen. amen. You got that anointing? Yes. I knew you looked like a preacher. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> anointing to fast. I want to fast. You want to fast? Lord, put her on a long fast. You said this kind goeth forth only by prayer and fasting. Amen. Amen. Now, there'll be a difference in your church. Get them fasting. Yes. Teach them to fast like I taught the people here. Okay? Amen. God bless you. What do you need tonight? Well, over uh, 30 years ago, you prayed for my left eye. It was very weak. I've never had any trouble with it. But my right eye is starting to give me trouble. I'm starting to lose. Yes, sir. I command it done. Give her the perfect miracle now, Lord. I command it to come to normal. I command 2020 vision. 2020 vision. Open that eye, close the other one, and see, see, see. You have it, don't you? Yes, I do. Woo, glory. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Yes. Yeah. Oh, it's very clear. It's amazing. <laughs> you have faith, divine faith, did yes. it? Thank you. Praise the Lord. And glad you're here for this great meeting. Glad to be here. Wonderful, wonderful. Oh, friend, the power of God is working in a great and mighty way in all of our services at Ernest Angeles Grace Cathedral. And if you're in need of a miracle, maybe there's a bondage in your life that you just can't seem to be free of, or maybe a loved one or a friend needs a miracle, I'd like to invite you and your loved ones to be with us in our services at Ernest Angeles Grace Cathedral. We have four powerful services each and every weekend in two locations. Now we are located in Cuyahoga Falls at 2700 State Road and in Akron, 1055 Canton Road in Springfield Township. And it starts with the Friday night miracle service at 7 p.m. in the Cuyahoga Falls location. In that service, you'll enjoy good gospel music and singing and then prayer for those in great need in the healing line. And that's why people travel from other states, many times even other nations, to be in that service. And oh, how God blesses the people. Saturday, we have a youth service at 7 p.m. in our Akron location. Again, that's in Springfield Township. It's a service dedicated to the youth, but people of all ages are welcome to attend, and they do, and they're greatly blessed. Then Sunday, we have two services in the Cuyahoga Falls location. It starts with the morning worship service at 10 a.m., a special message in the main auditorium, also Sunday school for the boys and girls on the upper level in our junior church department. 
Then Sunday evening at 7 p.m., it's a great evangelistic service with plenty of good gospel music and singing. Friend, do pay us a visit. We look forward to seeing you. Now it's prayer time on the broadcast. Are you in need of a miracle or a healing friend? Well, the Bible plainly tells us healing, deliverance for the body, it starts in the soul. And that means if there's any sin, unrighteousness, disobedience in your life, be free right now through the blood of Jesus so God can do his perfect work in your body today. Pray this prayer with me and mean it with your whole heart. Say, O oh God, I confess all of my sin before you. Forgive me, Lord. I have come home to serve you the rest of my life. And I believe the power in the blood of Jesus washes away all of my sins, all of my sins. Say, come into my heart, Jesus. Come on in, Jesus. Come on in. And friend, if you meant that prayer, Jesus is yours today. And what that means is you have the healer living within your soul. Now, get ready to receive the miracle, the healing that you need in your body. Put your hand against mine on the screen. This is a form of laying on of hands. Lord, in the name of Jesus, I bring the sick and afflicted to you. Many have a great need, a great bondage in their life. God, lay a healing hand upon each one. In the holy blood name of Jesus, heal, heal, heal. Let your blood power flow to each one. Lord, let it do its miraculous work in each life and raise them up as a testimony for your honor and glory in this final hour. In the blood name of Jesus, I pray. And amen. Friend, watch every improvement. Give God the honor and glory. And if you've received a miracle or a healing through this Jesus ministry, send us your testimony. Send that testimony by email to testimonies at ernestangely.org. And friend, we look forward to receiving that great report. And always remember, you are special to me and to God. God bless. You can enroll in the Ernest Angley Ministries Online Bible College. It's open to everyone and you can work at your own pace. Being trained in God's great truths will make your life prosper in the Lord and enable you to be a great blessing to your friends, family, and those in great need. Go to ernestangley.org and start today. This program is paid for by the Ernest Angley Outreach Partners.